Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk today about a scripture that I got during my morning prayer again. So, like I said, sometimes I get them in dreams, sometimes I get them in morning prayer. But anyhow, this was um, Matthew, and what the Lord highlighted was um, 12 through 15. But I'm going to go ahead and read 9 on down. Now, when he had departed from there, he went into the synagogue, and behold, there was a man who had a withered hand. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful uh, to heal on the Sabbath, that they might accuse him? Then he said to them, What man is there among you who has one sheep, and if it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will not lay hold of it and lift it out? Of now, how much more value then is a man than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, stretch out your hand. And he stretched out his hand, and it was restored as whole as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and plotted against him that they might destroy him. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there, and a great multitude followed him, and he healed them all. Yet he warned them not to make him known that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. You know, there's a lot of people that need healing, healing miracles, um, and that's an awesome thing. And Jesus did it, and we're supposed to do it. And it's it's supposed to be any and all times. Um, but it's not the hype that the church has made it, or some of the church has made it. Because a lot of people want to use those gifts and then they want to showboat it or highlight themselves or, you know, kind of look what I did. It's real, the true battle is going to be won in the streets, guys. So I, you know, that's why I said don't, don't tell any man about it. Don't. Just do it. It's going to be at the hospitals when nobody sees you. It's not going to be in a church with 60,000 people so that you can gloat about how great you are, that, you're, that you have a healing gift, or how many ever, thousands or whatever, you know. It's just not, guys. Sorry. This is this outpouring of the Holy Ghost in these last days, because <clears throat> that's what it's going to be, outpouring of the Spirit. <clears throat> it's going to be in the secret place. There's a lot of secret places. Like I said, it's going to be one in the streets, <clears throat> the back alleys, the back rooms, the bars, wherever, hospitals, jailhouses, mm -hmm. mental houses. Not necessarily seen by man. That's where the whole story of Gideon comes from. Not the whole story of Gideon, but he said, he told him, he said, you got too many. I can't let the army win, the children of Israel win, because they'll glorify in themselves. They'll think it was them that did it. We whittled it down to 300. So it's not even the cool story about how he took 300 and, and won the battle. <clears throat> he is going to get the glory. And so when we try to take the glory, it just doesn't work, guys. <clears throat> it's, just, it's just time to be about our father's business and do what he tells us to do. And not worry about all the other stuff. Being on cameras and internet and, you know, I use YouTube because I want to get the message out, but I'm just directional. That's all. Not to be anything that I'm not. I'm just a vessel like y'all are. Just read Matthew's, Matthew 20. Kind of cuts through all the barriers and shows the equality and how we're all created the same 
We all get the same pay. <clears throat> we all have the same value to Jesus and to God. Just different types of vessels and have different purposes and different callings and different giftings, but we all have a purpose. And so it's time for us to just kind of get over ourselves and do what God tells us to do, which is heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons. But do it for his glory and not showboating and egotistical garbage. It's just not. It's not. That's not. That's what I'm taking out of it. But anyhow, guys, uh, tune into some of my other messages. Uh, thanks for tuning in. God bless y'all. Um, appreciate you. Talk to you soon. I'm trying to keep them kind of short. So share them with others if you like it. Don't like it, that's fine. Put likes, dislikes, comments. I want to hear from you. You can email me directly at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com or just you know go through the YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. Uh, appreciate you. Have a good day.